Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here, and welcome to my review for the Deluxe Jiku Driver from Common Rider Geo. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late on this. I'm always trying to get these out as soon as possible, but I always run into a hiccup with getting the driver to actually get into my cart right away or to ship right away. But anyway, let's go ahead and start off with the most important part of a Dawson Rider review, which is Dawson's box. Here we go. So just real quick, you know, just to get a feel for the aesthetics of it, you know, neat box, cool shot of Geo. There's the driver, the ride watch it comes with. It's still in like this reverse packaging, like most packagings is like, I feel like it's from Opposite World, it's weird. But yeah, and then it just shows you what you can do with it, like, hey look, you can work with the other ride watches, collect them all forever, and then, you know, all that stuff. I'm gonna get it out of the way just so it's not, well, in the way, hence, get it out of the way. And it doesn't, you know, try to steal any focus. I'm also gonna be uh, going over the build ride watch, I mean, obviously to show off the functionality, but also I didn't get my hands on one until very recently, and by recently I mean basically when I got my hands on this. Um, so let's just go ahead and start with just like the aesthetics. So here's the driver itself. It actually looks pretty neat. Like not like I never like ever disliked it, but it wasn't one where I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest design of all time, and I was like rubbing it and stuff. But it's actually pretty sleek looking compared to some of the other drivers. I really like the sort of clear white plastic here. I think it looks pretty neat. You know, of course you have like the whole watch of it all by pressing this, and and it'll kind of when you press it, it'll kind of latch and turn to the left a little bit, and then you swing it around and it locks back in. Uh, Usually it kind of works better if you're, you know, um, whatchamacallit, like you're either holding it as a belt or if you have it up on like a little stand, but since it's just my hand, um, I might just like manually do it to make sure it locks in because there's a couple times when I was running through this that it would hit one of the buttons on the way out or something and kind of reset everything. But yeah, that's pretty neat and I like the way it's kind of unique the way it does that, the way you you um, you spin it around, and it's pretty satisfying to do. I, I really dig that quite a bit. But so yeah, that's neat. Um, thanks, spoiler alert. Um, and then of course you do have a strap, which I have, you know, off of it, just because, you know, I don't need it for the review, but you know, you just strap it in here, and it'll probably fit you if you're a kid or if you're really skinny, otherwise you'll have to, you know, buy extenders or make your own extenders, and then, you know, you have that to hold it all together, but yeah, nothing too special. The only other thing I wanted to note real quick, which is kind of neat, I don't know if it's intentional or if I'm just being weird, um, is when you, you know, put the batteries in here, you press this little thing, you know, usually you press it and you push it up to pull it out, but you press this here and you, like, turn it, it just kind of reminds me of a clock, I don't know if it's intentional, it was just, it was kind of neat. Um, but let's go ahead and turn it on, so. So you can see there's a really neat LED right there. Uh, that's where all the kind of main features are gonna come from. It'll show you what like name and attack you're doing. And it doesn't really do any any sounds um, without anything in it except for saying its name, like a Pokemon. Okay, and then with it you get, get out of here, you're not even with this. You don't even go here. Uh, no, but you get the standard, uh, you know, Geo Ride Watch. There is also a set that comes with Gates Ride Watch and a holder. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on that one, but the Gates Ride Watch review should be uploading tomorrow from when this is uploaded, so they should all be linked together. But yeah, so you can get, this is like the standard set. Um, so yeah, this is the Ride Watch. I really do dig them. I like the, the ones, the gimmicks with electronics in it, which is cool. It has that cool plastic on it. When you have it twisted this way, you can see like the year and stuff of, you know, the rider, it's 2018, it's his year. Um, then you twist it here and you get, you know, his face. Um, this one's pretty secure, I'll get to builds in a minute, but um, that, that faceplate is loose. Like, you can take them off, but my build faceplate is loose. So you basically get three common sounds out of this one before you put it in the driver. Oops, that just unfocused off of it, like it couldn't even handle it. And let's do that so you can see the lights for this. And then, oops, oh, sorry. So that's cool. I always like the ones with sound because if you buy like the individual ones like this, it gives you something to do if you don't have a driver or something. It's just, I don't know, I find them to be just more entertaining. Okay, so let's straighten this out. So now we're going to put it in. Whoops, well I guess we can do that for the sake of authenticity. All right, are you ready? That's a different series, but are you ready? Okay, I'm just checking. What? Apparently you weren't ready. There we go. So you'll get that. Press it and skip it.
So that's really cool. You can see the LED light up with a specific color and it'll say the year of the rider, which is super neat. Hi guys, there's, I don't know what that is. Something in the back, I think it's my, my fridge. I don't know, it's something. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, I dig some of the rider voice of it and I like the little waiting music. I'm not a fan of the G, oh, because you can see my hands talking. I'm talking with my hands because it kind of sounds like X8 and I'm not a fan of the sing songy one. It's like fingerprints on us already, that's embarrassing. Anyway, uh, the only other sound you get is like an attack noise and you get that by pressing this. Some waiting noises. And then that'll just kind of wait for you to spin it around. Alright, and that's like all the sound you get with what comes in the standard set. Again, if you have gates, it'll do the same say the, the same thing. So basically you have sounds before you put it in the driver, pension sounds, and then attack sounds. Okay. Now here is the build ride watch, which was sold separately. Same deal here, it's you know, done in build colors. You have its year down here, 2017. Pretty neat. Uh, you got a couple different sounds um, on its own before you put it in. And then there's his face. Okay, and then it just goes back to build again. There's no time machine or whatever. Because he doesn't have one, that's probably why. So this one goes on the other side. Okay, there we go. Some waiting sounds. Carefully, don't hit the buttons. Okay, so then you get the sound effects for that. You can see 2017 for that. And so to do its finisher, you don't just press this. You have to press this first, then this. So. So that's pretty neat. It basically adds on to whatever the special finisher for this rider was onto the main one. So in case, like, instead of Vultic finish, you know, Vultic time break, I'm assuming it'll work the same for, like, maybe maximum drive or maximum time break for double, for example, or scanning charge time break. That just seems, like, wordy. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then, like I said, you know, you get the little uh, individual number for the specific rider you put in here. For, so in this case, build started in 2017. To release them, you might have already seen it a couple times. You press this and you let go of that. It's gonna stay building in. Same thing for here. Now, you're probably wondering, what is life? But also, you're probably wondering, what if you put the build one on this side, and you can't do it like the, like the way it's facing normal, you have to do it upside down because it's specifically that type of facing watch. But you can do it. Do it to it, Lars. I'm feeling skinny, Sento. So yeah, you can just do that by itself. What about this? Attack. I, I did it for you since you didn't you didn't feel like you didn't feel like, feel like doing it. So yeah, you do that, and then let's reverse it. So it does do one for that. So basically, it just reverses everything. It's like opposite world, just like the box. But yeah, that's pretty much about the it for this. 
Again, I'm sorry I couldn't get my hands on the Gates one, but I just wanted to get my hands on any driver by any means necessary. I mean, not like any driver, obviously a Jiku driver, but yeah. So that review will be coming tomorrow, but overall, I do dig this driver. If you just get this set, you know, this doesn't come with it, it's separate. Um, it is kind of simple, you know, you basically just get two core sounds, three if you're counting the ones you can do individually, like core sound sets. But I still really dig it, I like the look of it, I really like the LED thing, I think that makes it super neat. I think it's going to be a fun one to collect over the years, we'll see if I get fatigued like I do with some of the other ones, but with like the unique sounds and stuff, I think it'll be a fun one. So basically, if you're amped up for this anniversary aspect and you like what you see, I think you'll dig this. I'm not like jumping out of my seat for like, oh my god, you have to get this or otherwise your life will be incomplete. But I think it's a pretty neat driver uh, that I quite dig and I think there's going to be some some fun stuff to go along with it. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell so you get the notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.